Now the poles come out of the arena, and it's just the barrels, and in slow motion we get a chance to see the great world championship ride in junior barrel racing of Betty Roper on Lulu of an Eris, and it was on Lulu of a run. It's speed and turns again, but this time there's just three turns, three barrels to challenge them as they come out of that fast stretch drive and try to wrap around there and then head for home. Four-year-old Sorrel Mare is owned by Chris and Kaki Liebert of Argyle, Texas, and the final barrel and headed home. Lot of stride, and this is when they can really catch up on time now. If a horse has good stride for that finish. And a time of 17.72 seconds, the world championship run of Lulu of an Eris. Now we'll see in regular action the top five finishers in senior barrel racing. And heading out first, Flight 11, the nine-year-old Sorrel Gelding, owned and ridden by Katrina Akers of Kaufman, Texas. Oh, she wrapped that first barrel tight. She's staying close on the second. Let's watch the third one now. That one's a good tight one and dashing for home. And a dash that got her home in a time of 17.571 seconds. It should have been about two-tenths of a second better than the world yeah, championship. Yeah, look who's right? here now again. Right, yeah. in junior barrel racing. Precocious Sugar's back in it again. Very Certainly talented, is. versatile horse. Diane Kenny, who we saw in the polls and won the senior polls, now in senior barrel racing and home in a time of 17.602 seconds. So that 17.571 by Flight 11 holds up right now, but a good run by Precocious Sugar. This 10-year-old Sorrel Mare is ridden by Brenda Rector, and it's another Indiana horse. Been here to several world championship competitions, one of the top Midwest barrel horses. Leela is a long gone, and she's long gone to the finish. Blue Lake Farms out of Terry Hope, 17.477, and that takes over the lead. That's the time to be. Looking at the top five finishers, two to go. Showing the gold is up. Yeah, there you are again, another one of your Indiana horses, Dick Morgan, and Mary Berger, the rider. Real good run, and why not? She was the champion in this event last year. Could be again, and may very well be. We got one horse to see. 17.239, that takes over the lead from Leela is a long gone. Show him the gold. All right, tequila for my men. Seven-year-old Sorrel Gelding, the final run of the top five finishers in senior barrel racing, and Cindy DeLong is aboard for this ride. Donald Bulger, I tell you, all the, all the top ones come from Indiana. This horse, yeah. this horse out of Indianapolis, and Cindy's got it home at a time of 17.453, and that means show him the gold from Decatur, Indiana, the world champion. Mary Berger and Sean the Gold, back-to-back -back world champions in senior barrel racing. I had a chance to talk to Mary after her winning run. Well, Mary Berger, we watched you last year win a world championship, and by golly, you did it again tonight. <laughs> Thank you. How does it feel the second time around in a row? <laughs> really good. I, you know, it's really hard to come back and do it again, but I, I got a pretty good horse, and we get along real good together. <laughs> What do you find that it takes to, to make a good barrel horse? Well, my, my uh, deepest thought is is a real good relationship between the horse and rider. They've got to trust you, and you've got to trust them. What seems special to you about winning at the world? Well, I, I guess maybe the prestige. You know, it, yeah. it, you, you have to haul and compete with the best in the country to, to get here. And then when you win it, you, you really had to work to get there and, and, you know, a lot of pressure and stuff, which don't bother me too much, but I just, you know, just the prestige and knowing that you worked hard and, and it paid off. We'll be back with more from the World Championship Show after these messages. Nothing covers the industry like the Quarter Horse Journal. On time, every month. Can you afford not to know? For subscription information, call area code 806-376-4811. And welcome back to America's Horse. Dick, of course, not all of the competition here is in the performance classes, so why don't you take us through the halter classes? Halter competition is the proving grounds for breeders' programs in which we evaluate their conception of the ideal quarter horse in the various age and sex divisions. 
In the Wheeling Phillies, Roy Don showed sure enough impress to the championship. Yearling Phillies, the winner, pretty sunny money, shown by Chip Nost. In Yearling Gildings, it was Sander Skippet, Larry Sullivan showing. Two-year-old Gildings, presenting Decker Impressive, was Denny Hassett. In the Wheeling Stallions, a real class act was the champion, Tommy Mannion. And for Yearling Stallions, double the money, Chip Nost again showing. Two-year-old Phillies, Bill Kaufman presenting Sure a Smooth Chick. In the three-year-old Bears, Tommy Mannion back again with Town Treasure. Two-year-old Stallions, I'm a Cool Skip, Jerry Wells showing. In the aged Mayor Division, Jerry Wells again with Howdy Royal Rita. From the three-year-old Geldings, Greg Whalen presented Round the Town. Among the age geldings, Jerry Wells again with Skips Chapter 2. And the champion three-year-old stallion, Fantastic Finale with Larry Sullivan. And world champion age stallion, Mr. Conclusion, shown by Ted Turner. Well, Dick, we just saw Jerry Wells add some more world championship trophies to a list that I guess is a record now, isn't it? It is. 31 of them. 30 in halter competition alone. He was very pleased. Jerry Wells, a little history made for you personally again this morning. You racked up number 31 in world championships, right? Yes, sir. We're sure happy to win, too. And is that the most in world championships of anyone who's shown in halter competition? Yes, and just halter horses only, that, uh, that's the most. Well, I know you've shown both sides in the saddle as well in halter. Uh, how does the tension compare between the two uh it looks like just everybody stands around out there with their horse is that all there is to it no there's <laughs> there's really not much difference i mean if you've you know if you think you've got one that's uh, capable of winning there's just as much tension no matter whether it's at halter or whether it's in the performance you know it's it's a lot of tension you know if you think you've got a winner and got a shot to win how about the time that you spend in working with that halter horse is there a comparison to the performance horse at all well uh I think it's I think it's just you know you spend just as much time on your halter horses as you do your performance because uh, you know they they acquire so much just uh, just so much attention uh, that you just can't believe and uh, the performance horses do too but some of them you just nearly have to sleep with them you know that's that's the attention they require. What about the feelings of winning a championship? Does it uh, is it just routine now after number no, 31? No, it's never routine. <laughs> <laughs> that that thrill and that intensity is always there, you know, and uh, uh, it's always uh, you know it's just uh, there's just nothing like you know being able to win a world champion, no matter if you've won one or 31. You know, everyone's uh, you know that's that's an honor as far as I'm concerned. A new class was added to world competition this year. It's called the Snafflebit Western Pleasure Futurity for two-year-olds. Now, I think last month I asked this question, but I'm going to do it one more time. Walt, what exactly is a snaffle bit? John, a snaffle bit is really a very easy bit on the horse's mouth. It's the type bit that you start a young horse's training with. And you know, Tommy Mannion is no slouch at winning world championships. And Dick had an opportunity to visit with him earlier about Western Pleasure. What do you think... Uh your snaffle bit horses, do you see further careers for them as they become aged in other divisions? We plan to go on to the three-year-old year, old year uh, with the horses that we're showing now, and, and then after that, the, the four-year-old year. And uh, there's new classes being developed along the pleasure horse line. And uh, so, yes, we plan on going forward with ours. The pleasure horse is obviously our most popular division. The numbers and the entries show that. Uh, why, why do you think that's come about that way particularly? Well, the quarter horse is is a family type horse number one, and the whole family can enjoy the pleasure horse, and uh, more more people can participate with them. And participating for the world championship in the Snaffle Bit Western Pleasure class was Triples, ridden by Mike Moser. Now moving on to Junior Western Pleasure. The world champion Mystic Illusion, ridden by Jody Gallion. And in senior Western pleasure, Amble Easy was taken to the championship with Matt Rees aboard. 
And in the Senior Trail Division, Mabel's Easy Money was ridden by Cynthia Cannelberry, who has ridden nine world champions. And this lady is really a master at training trail horses. She has a sensitivity to get them adapted to doing just how to become accustomed to these obstacles. And she trusts them because she knows every minute exactly what they're doing. She's not watching those feet, but she's guiding that horse with the aids that the horses learn to accept and understand to put each foot just where it has to be to get in there so delicately, so precisely, and never touch one of those brails that could just topple over with the slightest touch. Here are a side pass to the right, and now she'll signal the opposite direction. Side pass to the left. What a master. We asked her, how is it possible? I think in any division where there's an individual performance, trail, hunters, jumpers, roping, um, western riding, it's a smooth, level trip. It's um, try not to kill too much motion, don't make a big deal out of each obstacle. Um, uh, they should be looking for, like I say, a lot of expression, um, uh, quietness. Uh, speed when you need it, uh, no motion when you don't need it. And she certainly made it work for the ninth world championship. Mabel's Easy Money, Cynthia Cannelberry, and the horse owned by Charlene Lang out of California. Now let's move to the junior trail world champion, Majestic Signal, a four-year-old chestnut gelding. And this is another very capable rider. As we said, they do not look at the feet. Lynn Palm aboard here. And as she feels her way through this dog leg, she's just checking now to see that her horse is centered and then starts the signal. Little light mouth contact, a little squeezing of the legs, one step at a time, coming back through that dog leg so precisely and so carefully. Just watching her horse's ears, that's what tells her how straight the horse is staying. Watching its head all the time and taking that one little precise step. Now we come to the place where she has to make a turn. Turn on the forehand, swinging the hind quarters around to the left here, and being very careful that that outside right hand leg doesn't make a contact with that rail. And then holding the hind legs in place and bringing the front end on around to complete that pivoting turn and then backing straight on through that line. Look at the concentration she has every minute, but she's feeling every step of that horse going right where every foot is being placed. And now having won the world championship and the reserve championship in this class, and her total now, eight world championships. Lynn Palm aboard, Majestic Signal. Oh, but look here. She drops the bag. She has to retrieve the bag and show that she can carry it on the horse, so leading way out of the saddle and a big effort. She's got it, and she's got the championship. <laughs> that, that wasn't planned, was it? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Majestic Signal, the world champion. Western riding competition is a test of a good ranch working horse and all around performance. And Doug Carpenter riding the world champion in junior western riding. And in senior western riding, Miss 80 Proof, the world champion, ridden by Bob Roan and this horse, back to back, the world champion in the event also last year and in 1986. We'll be back with more from the world championship show after these messages. <laughs> 